In today's video, we're going to see how much silly putty it takes to stop a bullet. A while ago, we got our hands on a lot of silly putty. I mean like a thousand eggs of silly putty. Got a lot of silly putty. We had a lot of fun with it at the time and we kept it. It's just been in this bag in our studio for a good while now. And recently we decided we wanted to see what would happen if we, uh, let's see, what was our YouTube safe language? Launched projectiles at it at high speeds. Here's the basic idea. We've got a whole lot of silly putty and we're gonna see how much of it it takes to stop a bullet at three different calibers. So we've got three different levels of high speed projectile launchers, mm -hmm. which we'll use to launch projectiles at three different speeds. They're also different sizes of projectiles. This is a 22 high speed projectile launcher <laughs> for the 22 projectiles. Uh, and we're gonna take our silly putty and we can do a couple versions of it. I do want to try just shooting a blob of it. Yep. And then if we need to contain it better, we've got some clear tubes that we can try filling with silly putty to really give ourselves the maximum amount possible to, to launch, launch at. at. Yes. We've got the maximum containment for launching quality. I want to start with our 22 projectile launcher. Okay. And just take a little blob of this. I'm thinking a, a decent sized blob, okay. although just a blob, and launch at it. Launch uh, at launch it. Launch at it and see if it gets through. Does it break? Silly putty is interesting, of course, because it can stretch out quite a bit if you pull on it slowly, but if you pull quickly, it will just break. Ugh. And so I'm curious if being having projectile launched at it so fast is going to make it break. Will it actually like shatter even? Yeah. I don't know. And Might be interesting. As I said, we've got multiple different levels of projectiles to shoot. We're going to try and line our projectile launcher up with this sort of log blob. Okay, good. Three, two, one. <laughs> you hit it. Turn the safety on. I assume the bullet is still in the silly putty somewhere. Kind of have to tunnel after it. You just squished it. Found the tunnel again. Good. Did it come out the side? Oh, I lost it again. We're just following an air bubble. <laughs> it's possible, but it's long if it's an air bubble. We're not able to find the bullet, so we're going to try again. It may have shot all the way through. It might just be in here, and we didn't flatten it everywhere yeah. to see if we could find it for sure, uh, but it seemed like we were following a bullet hole. It's hard to tell in Silly Putty. Just trying to smush it a little bit more this time, just in case that there was just like an air bubble we were following that wasn't a bullet hole. Let's grab a board and okay. put it behind it. So if it does go all the way through, we'll have a mark of that. Three, two, one. Well, I'd say you hit the board in the back. <laughs> it jumped a bit. Did I hit the? I think you hit the silly putty. Three, two, one. Blew a piece out of it. <laughs> so we have another entry shot. Okay. But the exit on this one tore open the silly putty. Oh my gosh, yeah, we blew a hole in it. Now, if you've ever seen a video of a bullet getting shot into ballistics gel, it enters and then as it goes through, it kind of leaves an expanding trail behind it a few inches in a lot of the time. I'm guessing that's what happened to our silly putty here, is it went in and just cavitated and just blah, tore this open a little bit. All right. Well, that's a target. Three, two, one. Hmm. Did it go through? Maybe. So this mark seemed to appear that time. So I think the bullet hit and it went through, but it didn't go through straight. Yeah, I hit dead center. Well, you got like one more round in there. Let's just shoot it again. Three, two, one. Didn't see any marks appear on the board that time, although we do have what kind of looks like projectile shot there. I'm gonna go ahead and say silly buddy doesn't stop a bullet. Not very well. Now, I am no great marksman, but I wanna try this, so I'll launch a couple projectiles at it, and if I'm not hitting it the way I want, I'll have my cameraman Mark take over, because he's a little bit better. Did I hit low? I think I hit the very bottom of it. Yeah, you just barely grazed it. Okay, aim it a little higher. Three. Two, one. There you that go. That seemed like a pretty solid shot. So yeah, my first shot was low and it just took it right here. I think I saw a dust cloud in the back. The second shot, got it right there. Oh, there it is. You found it. Look at that. 
That's our projectile. Wait, that is really cool. And it only got that far. Our 22 projectile launcher was getting all the way through. You can see the rifling marks from as it was leaving our projectile launcher. Just the scratches on the side of the barrel. That's cool, so we caught one with Silly Putty. Yeah. Three, two, one. I think I got it. Yep. Safety's on. Oh my gosh. You just blew it to bits. I think it left. So it didn't get through all of it, clearly, but it came in and then just wah, its way out. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Safety's on. You split it in half. I think it was following the same trail as before and just ripped open, but this Partially. one went down. I think it's literally just tearing it open so much inside. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I think it probably did escape. Yeah. Let's try putting it in the clear tube and okay. give it another shot. So we're using three different sizes of projectiles. We've got this 22 projectile, which you can see is very narrow. It doesn't have a lot of surface area to run into the silly putty, but it also doesn't have that much projecting it. There's not much gunpowder in this, so it's the slowest of these. We've got this nine millimeter projectile, which you can see has room for a lot more energy behind it, but it also has way more surface area. So which is gonna overpower the silly putty, the power or the surface area, we don't know. And then from our AR-15 ammo, you can see it's about the same diameter as our 22. In fact, it might be the same, uh, but it has way more power behind it and it's pointed more. So it has better penetration power. Three, two, one. Oh, broken tube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bullet went in, dove down, and just shot our tube. Neat. Let's just, let's just go straight to the AR. Okay. It's still kind of in a tube. Three, two, one. Zero. Wow. It rips so fast that it just, yeah, it shreds the silly putty. But yeah, I do think that one took off up and out. Well, we did catch one. This was fun. So Silly Putty catching high-speed projectiles from our high-speed projectile launchers. Does work. Medium success. Yeah. We caught a couple of the middle-sized ones, and I think it, probably a fitting end for our Silly Putty, which is now so full of sawdust and shreds of plastic that I think we're probably not going to try and save it anymore. It's on its way out. So we've had it for a long time. I think this is a good end for it. Catching projectiles, it's very noble. Guys, that is it for today, but we've always got new great stuff coming out, so make sure you hit that button to subscribe so you never miss a great video, and we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then.